I know a lot of us like to decorate with a gingerbread house in real life, so I thought this week I would show you a really simple gingerbread house for the dollhouse. Join me and see how easy this project is. To get started to make our gingerbread house, we need to make a pattern. And what I did, I just drew out my basic shapes onto some graph paper this morning. And I will scan this, I'll lay it out on some um, paper and scan it off for you. So you can, if you want to use my measurements, you can. Remember, gingerbread houses come in all sizes, from very tiny to huge. So whatever size you want to make. And this will easily translate into a gingerbread house for Barbie. I don't think we can go bigger than that. I don't think American Girl size would work in this particular way. I am going to work on one of those for next year. This year we'll just do Barbie and make them for Barbie and for the dollhouse. But we've got two sides, we've got two ends, and then we've got two roof pieces. Um, and you can play with it on graph paper and see how big you want to make it. So what we need to do then is we need to roll out some clay. And you can either use Fimo caramel color or you can do like I did because when I got started this morning I couldn't find my caramel color and then of course I found it later. But this is just a mixture of whatever brown clay I had on my table and I had some brown and some white and some yellow laying here that actually don't even have labels anymore. And I just mixed that together and I came out with a color that I'm happy with. And take your pattern pieces that you've cut, and this is the beauty of doing this. You just lay these down and kind of rub your finger over them. And I like to give myself room around each one because we can just roll this clay back out. And I don't think I mentioned I rolled the clay out with my pasta machine at a number three setting. Uh, if I was doing Barbie size, I think I would probably go to a number two setting, make it a little thicker, because that's or if you're making a really big um, gingerbread house for the dollhouse, go a little thicker. Uh, three is a good setting for just an average size house, because it's strong enough to hold up and stand up, but it's thin enough you aren't using a ton of clay. So we get these rubbed on, and just kind of light rub them down with your fingers. That way they'll stay put. And we're just going to use our clay knife and we are going to cut around and we're using that paper pattern to tell us where to cut. That's the beauty of using a paper pattern on Fimo or on polymer clay is it will just rest on there. And then as we get them cut, get your paper towel or your paper, paper towel, paper plate close by very carefully run your knife underneath and move them to your paper plate. So I am going to move the, cut the rest of these out and move them to the paper plate. I'm going to bake them however temperature your clay recommends. Um, since this one didn't, I didn't have the package for this, I'm baking this at 250 for about 10 minutes. And that's what I did earlier with my trial and it worked just fine. So when I get these cut out and baked and cooled off, I'll be all back. Right, so we are now all baked and fairly well cooled. Not completely, but I'm going to take these off the paper plate. And I'm going to put the roof pieces. The roof pieces are bigger than the sides. So decide which are your roof pieces. And those we're going to set off to the side for just a moment. Now, we need a wet wipe because we are going to use latex caulking. This is what we are going to use in place of frosting. And just like in real life, our, we many times will put our gingerbread house together with frosting. We're going to use frosting, in this case, caulking. 
We'll put just a little bit in here. Oh, and I'm going to put a little bit on here. Now, this is just a piece of wood. This is one of those wood shapes. And let's see, this is, if I can find my ruler. This one is two inches by three inches. So it's about the size of like a large breadboard, which a lot of times people will put their, their gingerbread house on something like that. I'm going to put just a squish of caulking on there. And I'm using toothpicks. Now this stuff is really sticky. It will get all over your fingers. And by the way, you buy this like where, near the paints in stores that have like house paint and stuff. It's used for fixing walls and such. But I use it a lot in doll, in doll food, both in um, Barbie and dollhouse size and also in American Girl size. It's used for a lot of different things. So it's really handy to have on hand. And if you seal the tube up with the lid and then put it in a Ziploc bag and make sure there's no air in the bag, it will keep for a while. All right, so we're going to take our sides. I like to do. First, of course, you determine where you're, where on the board you're going to um, put your house before you start spreading your stuff on there. And we're going to put this. And this does clean up with soap and water while, before it cures, so it'll wash off of your hands just like acrylic paint. Now, so hopefully you can see. So I put caulking on the end of these where they're going to attach. And I like to do it this way. And by having some of that kind of piled up inside, it will kind of support the walls. And it's okay if it's not terribly neat. You don't want it all over, but it's okay if it's not perfect. And I'm making sure that my corners are pretty square. Now I take some more of this and I put it where I figure the ends of those side walls are going to hit my end wall. Okay, now wipe your hands off so you don't get caulking all over your house and hopefully that's fairly square, fairly Good corners, you can still adjust it. Now, we're going to put, yeah, you're still seeing, paint this kind of right here. It's okay if it's messy inside. And by the way, when you're making your walls, if you wanted to, you could have used cutters. I should have mentioned that. And I'll mention it in the blog post in more detail. You could use your, you know, your camper cutters or other cutters and make windows if you want to do that. I usually don't. Um, and this one that I'm making you today, I'm making just a really basic gingerbread house. Um, I'm not going to go overboard on the decorating. Um, because I want you to use your imagination. I don't want to do it and have you think, oh, I have to do it that way. That's why I'm leaving my not as decorated as it probably should be, just so that it sparks your creativity. I want to see what you do. So we take our first roof piece, and we put it on. And then our second roof piece, I'm going to take some more of this caulking. And we're going to do that. That way it will attach to the piece that's already here. Oopsie. Now this part really needs to set up before we go on and do too much more. Just look through, make sure everything looks the way you want it to. You can cover up some of the gaps with candy. And if you didn't make the candy from last week, from last week's video, this would be a good time to go and do that. Make some more Christmas candy if you don't have it. Also go through your beads and see if you have beads that you want to use on yours. We'll be using more of our coffee. We're also going to be using some, 
some fine glitter. So I'm going to let this set up and when this is hardened off I'll come back and we'll go on to the next to the decorating part. Alright so this has had time to set up now and it's pretty firm. I mean this really works well. So now we are going to use our caulking like we would frosting and we're going to pipe it for a while. And what this is this is an icing tube. You buy them where they have cake decorating supplies. They come on a little card like this and what you need is a number 16 which is a little tiny star tip and they're like less than a dollar um, and you can get them on sale sometimes. And this fits pretty well. You will need some nice strong like nailing tape, packing tape like this. I've tried with other types of tape and other tapes just can't hold this. But this fits. I've got this cut back quite a ways so that this will fit on. And really tape it on there. And even with that, we may have to hold it. Now you and you could just spread this frosting. Let's see if I can get my lights so they're a little. Hopefully that's not looking as dark actually in the camera as it is in the preview screen. But you can use this then to make designs just like you would icing. Put just a few little stars here. And this part's optional. You could just spread this with a toothpick and do it that way. I'm just trying to show you some different things that you might want to try. Now we made candy last week. Let's see what we've got. We've got these little sticks. I made some just little twisted sticks too. These I think put, let's see, where do I want to put things? Um, let me see. I'm going to put some frosting out just on the tile. And I need my tweezers. I should have prepared better, I guess. I didn't get my tweezers out. There's the pair I'm looking for. Oh, that's an ugly pair of tweezers. You put your, your candy sticks, you kind of dip them in this. You could use a lot of frosting with the star tip. I've seen some I've seen some gingerbread houses in real life that just have frosting decorations and very little in the way of candy. And then some have lots and lots of candy. So it's up to you how you want to do it. You could take some chocolate covered colored Fimo and make some chocolate pieces to put on here. You could take some of the extra uh, gingerbread color and make you know gingerbread men and things like that. It's really up to you. Um, put some of these on. I have no idea where I'm going with this. Okay, I don't like that at all. So we'll take that off. I don't know where those are going to go. Uh, I also have some more candy here that I made a few years ago. Um, let's see if I've got anything here I want. Yeah. And you can use anything. Let's just try and put some more stars on. I have no idea what I want to do with this. Like I said, I want to make this pretty basic so that you guys will come up with your own ideas whoops, for what you want to do. My tip is plugged, so when it starts to plug up, if the caulking starts to dry, you'll need to clear it out. Ah, that's better. I've 
you don't like the high tips on them. I'm not good with this with real frosting either, so. I always make a mess when I try to do this with real frosting and a decorating tip. I make a mess. So it's no different with the Fimo, with the, with the clay stuff and everything. Kind of outline that roof and kind of knock back the ones that got too big. Oops. Um, I know what we can do with some of those. We can make a path. Kind of make a path here. I'll probably spread some caulking out on the board when I'm done. And. Um, but you could take some, roll some Fimo out really, or polymer clay out really thin and cut little tiny discs out of it. Um, I mean, there's just so many ideas that you can come up with for stuff like this. Let's see. But again, I'd love to see, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'd love to see what you do. So if you make one of these, be sure and, um, Give me a picture of it. If you're on our Facebook page, be sure and post a picture. I'm sure everybody would love to see what everyone else is doing with their their minis. I know when pictures get posted, everybody looks at them. It's always popular. Drop the green one. Whoops, come on. Green. And let's see. I had another thing I wanted to play with too, and I've got these, these are, there's the wrapper. This is something I got to use for t-shirts. It's called Beads in a Bottle. You get them like at Joanne Fabrics. They're kind of cool, and I thought this might be, they come four to a package. I don't remember how much they are, but they kind of round up. I thought, well, this will need to set up. These could be cool. They don't have come in a whole lot of colors, but there's a few colors. I thought the green looked kind of candy-like. This is a glittery green. kind of neat. I will. So I will continue to decorate this a little bit with what I've got and I might dig out some beads. When I get done I'll come back and I'll show you how it went. Alright so I've got that side done. I thought I'd show you how I'm doing this side. Just to get the base. I just glued on some various candies. There'll be a picture. There'll be, I'll try and put a couple of pictures on the blog of this and then um, of course the picture you saw at the front end of the video. I'm just spreading out some caulking here on the board. Kind of cover up the, the wood. It doesn't have, it's up to you how much you want to have it covered. I don't care if mine's covered all the way. I just want to make it look kind of like they, you know, they've smeared some frosting around here. And then take a little bit of this glitter. And this too, of course, is optional. But glitter's always fun. Uh, the most important thing is make sure you clean out your star tip. Uh, as long as you get it cleaned out, this will, you know, you can use it again and again. Uh, just wipe it out really well and then get as much out as you can with a toothpick and a Kleenex and stuff and then take it to the sink and wash it out with soap and water. Um, don't use it for food again, but you can definitely use it for the caulking again. So there's our little gingerbread house. Uh, that's one version. Obviously, you can decorate yours however you want to. And with these beads in a the bottle, they do need to set up, I think, a couple of hours, maybe overnight. Uh, let's see what it says. Life flat, okay, for, on fabric, you do it for four hours. So I would say probably on this, probably about the same. So don't touch those in the meantime. But there we are, our little gingerbread house. Very simple. Have fun with it. 
Be sure and post some pictures on the Facebook page if you make one, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.